What? You didn't realize that Adobe Illustrator has clip art? Well, it sort of does, and it's really easy to modify it for your own uses. I'm going to come up here to Window, and I am going to choose Symbols. I then get my Symbols library, and I remember up here in the top right-hand corner, there's an arrow and lines, which always means more. So I can hold down on this and come down to Open Symbol Library. And with that, it gives me a whole bunch of things that I can choose. And I am going to choose my celebration right here. I'm going to go ahead and close up this one and just keep my celebration open. So if I zoom in on this, you can see that there's a lot of different symbols right here. And I am going to choose my birthday cake. So all I have to do is drag it off right here. Now, I am not totally thrilled with the colors of the cake as they give it to me right now. I don't really want a chocolate cake. It's I want something a little bit more girly. So I can go up to Window once again, and I can choose my color guide. And the color guide, remember, will give me variations of color. I can come up here and I can show tints or I can show warm and cool or I can show vivid mute. And remember, I have all my little different harmony guides right here. And so I'm going to choose the high contrast right here and I'm going to make a pink cake. Notice while the entire cake is selected, my options in my control bar change and I can now edit the symbol. So I'm going to edit it. Notice it just took it back down to a smaller size too. But when it does that, I can now use my white arrow to go through here and change the colors. Because I've already selected my color guide, I can go through here and I can get nice contrasting colors which are going to be perfectly matched to color in my cake. And I can go through and do the whole thing. And some of these look like they're awfully much the same, so I might want to go through and change those. Easy peasy. I'm going to then re-enlarge my symbol and there I go.